Hey everyone, this is Tim. This is another beautiful day in Toronto and just exploring the city. And uh, geez, I didn't realize there were so many buffets in Toronto. Uh, I got a chance to visit the uh, Mandarin Buffet and uh, really appreciate all the comments about places to visit. And a lot of people were suggesting another place called the Dragon Pearl. Uh, so uh, I'm just getting a little bit hungry. Uh, it's in the afternoon and hopefully uh, we can catch a buffet. So thank you so much for joining and uh, without further ado, uh, let's uh, go search out this place. All right, come on, let's go. So it's a little bit further than I thought from downtown, but it's surprisingly easy to get to with the subway and the buses, and it's right up ahead. So pretty excited. I uh, heard lots of uh, food offerings, including lobster, which is always a nice thing to see. And I suspect uh, being at a buffet, there's always celebrations involved. So I think we're just uh, heading up here and uh, let's go in. Hi Jennifer. Hi. Thank you so much. I can't wait for the buffet here. Uh, well, you'll be excited. All right. Okay. So you'll gloves. All right. Oh, yes, Thank you. Keep your mask and gloves on whenever you're heading to the buffet. Uh, okay. Great. Thank you. So I got my gloves. I can't wait to see the table. Hi there. Oh. Thank you. All right. So this is the Dragon Pearl buffet, and this is my table from. Uh, Jennifer and Janet, uh, I think we're gonna get a bit of a drink. Uh, and uh, while we're waiting for that, uh, let me show you the dining room here. So quite amazing. Beautiful tables and chandelier, and it's not busy at the moment because I usually like to come when the buffet starts, when it's nice and pristine. So I can't wait. Uh, I think I see Janet with the wine. Hey, thank you so much. All right, so it's pretty cool. I got my glass of wine from Janet and she also gave me a lobster card. So when people said there was lobster, they're correct. So it's limited, so I can't wait to give this a try. But let's go for the wine first. Cheers. Mm. Oh, very good, a really nice start. And uh, so let's take you to the buffet and let's see what they have. And I'm gonna get my lobster card too. Oh my goodness, let me show you around. This looks fantastic. It looks like the buffets in Toronto get better and better. So let's see, we have a nice noodle station and some seafood, uh, some salads, and then I see all the hot food over there. And I think down there is the grill station where you get your meats and the lobster as well. So uh, I think let's get started. Let's grab a plate. All right, a bit of a small plate, but let's see what they have. We've got some uh, veggies, beets. All right, so they look okay, but it gets better. We have some nice shrimp and mussels. Let's grab one of these. All right, and even better, shrimp that's peeled for you. All right, and then some other salad items. Let's continue. So now we have the veggies and the fruit, and I think it's still early, so everything's still wrapped up. That's okay, we'll skip these. And uh, I think this is a uh, early preview of the dessert station, but we're gonna skip that because I see the hot food coming up. <laughs> All right, and I see some bigger plates there. I should have switched to that from the beginning. Thank you. All right, so let's see what they have. Oh, some uh, shell mai. Very nice, grab one of these. And we have some, oh, wonderful shrimp dumplings. Can't say no. Oh, and look at this, some lemon chicken, chicken balls, really nice deep fried items. And look at this, some deep fried oysters. Let's go for one of these. Oh my goodness, they have Peking duck. Oh, thank you. All right, I gotta try one of these. Let's grab a wrapper. Oh boy. Uh, there we go. 
and the Peking duck looks so good. Let's go for the fatty, uh, crispy skin. Oh, look at that. Skin number one. And fatty skin number two. A little bit of green onions. A little bit of cucumbers. And some luscious hoisin sauce. All right, so pretty impressive here. I've never seen a buffet with Peking duck before. So carrying on, what do we have? We have the uh, sweet and sour pork, which is always very good. Let's go for a little bit of that. I wonder if you can wrap this up in the Peking duck wrapper. And uh, we have some uh, tofu with some shrimp, uh, steamed fish, and wonderful mussels. And let's see, a nice sushi station. Lots of good sushi. We have some nice salmon sashimi. Definitely get some of this. And oh, look at this. Uh, I think they call this a white fish. Looks good. Okay. And oh, wonderful tuna. Let's go for a little bit here. Let's go for two, just for redundancy. And beautiful shrimp. And then they have some uh, salmon sushi, but I'll skip that with the sashimi. So clams down there. And this looks like a salmon type pizza. Maybe let's give that a try. Looks beautiful. The uh, typical California roll, but let's go with a spicy salmon roll here. And we'll just do one. Oh, wonderful shrimp sushi. Can't say no to that. Grab one of these. And then uh, real colorful veggie rolls and uh, tempura shrimp roll. All right, and this is the dish I have so far. So next is definitely the hot food station number two. All right, so let's see what we have. So we've got some nice veggies. Oh, wonderful fish. And uh, some nice clams. Let's go for a few. Oh, and look at this. This is a seafood boil. What do we have? Oh, they have some crawfish, some lobster. Let's go for a little bit of this and some shrimp. There we go. Oh, and they have crab. Look at this. Really nice. The plate is filling up. And then uh, oh, some nice fried rice, Shanghai fried noodles, and then uh, some nice seafood again. Okay, and going on, some nice healthy vegetables and to counteract that, some nice deep fried shrimp. Let's go for one, oh, let's go for two. Some crispy chicken. I'm gonna grab a piece here and a shrimp chip piling up. And then we have some chow mein and some beef. And look at this, beautiful fried chicken. And look at the size of this chicken wing. Some green beans. Okay, some sweet and sour chicken. Oh, beautiful ribs. And uh, fried fish. And then over there, we've got some shrimp and some uh, fish balls and curry sauce. All right, so my plates are filling up fast and uh, there's still a few stations left. But I think uh, I'm gonna finish this off before we hit the grill station because uh, we want the lobster nice and fresh. All right, so that was quite a bit of work, but let me show you what I have at the table. So we've got that wonderful plate of uh, sushi and sashimi, a nice plate of deep fried goodness, uh, the, the seafood boil. Look at the size of this chicken wing and uh, some crispy shrimp. Uh, the fish ball and curry sauce, uh, a nice little snack here. And next is a plate with a Peking duck and uh, all the nice uh, little bits and bites around that. And I can't wait to give the Peking duck a try. All right. Oh, look at that. Wrap it up. Nice and warm. All right, here we go. Mmm. That duck is nice and fatty, crispy skin and a little bit of meat. Mm, very good. And it's super nice when it's full of duck. Mm. 
Mm. And I can't wait to try the sushi next. So many to choose from. I think let's try a little bit of the sashimi. Mm. Very nice. Nice and cold and fresh. And I uh, can't ask for anything more. Mm. So the buffets in Toronto gets better and better. And I thought the Mandarin buffet was really good. And this, uh, I think, is uh, even better. So I'm going to finish my plates here. And then I'll take you back to check out that all-important grill station with the lobster and the prime rib, the nice surf and turf. I'll take you back. Cheers. Mm. So there's a few stations I missed out. Let's uh, check them out now. Okay, so they have a soup station. But uh, I think this is all the uh, nice uh, soups. Uh, and let's see. Oh, this is a lobster seafood soup. Oh, lots of tofu. But let's see. Oh, we've got some lobster in there as well. All right. And moving along. Oh, hot and sour soup. Very nice. And we have some... I think this is wonton soup. All right, so next we have something called a longevity soup. Let's see. Oh, it has a papaya, pork, uh, ginger, and all that good stuff. Let's give this a try. And then uh, the bread station, uh, some croissants and some rice, which we will skip. And let's take you to the grill station, see what they have. To start off with, uh, oh, they have some... Uh, one left, they have some baked mussels. I'm gonna give that a try. Some pizza, some squid. Oh, some grilled sea bass. Just having some fun here as well. Oh, that looks really good. All right. Hi there. Oh, the hardworking folks here looks really good. Some grilled pineapples. Uh, this is grilled chicken and oh some nice sausages very nice some garlic bread plantains and what are these uh, sweet potato. oh sweet potato and i see something very important coming up hi Rianne. hi how are you good thank you you have the most important station <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, oh look at this uh we've got some uh oh prime rib bones and where you see the prime rib bones you have the prime rib and Ran, can I get uh, your fattiest cut of prime rib? Yeah. Oh, thank you. That would be so good. Oh, thank you so much. Ran was fantastic. I got a nice cut and a little bit of gravy. Okay. And I wonder who I turned this car to. Is this good for a lobster yeah. or half? Okay. All right. Can I get one? Would you like abalone with it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, there's abalone. Actually, you know, this would be perfect. One of them? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, and then if that's okay. Oh, thank you so much. All right. A big thank you for Ran for this wonderful lobster. And I need to top it up with some melted butter and maybe a lot of melted butter. Look at that. All right. So pretty amazing. We have the lobster and an abalone. So let's hurry back to the table. All right, so let me show you what I have. This is the second round. We have this longevity soup over here. Let's see, I think this is uh, steamed with uh, some papaya and some ribs, some pork. Really nice light soup. And most important, this massive lobster and a wonderful abalone. And then we've got a uh, really nice prime rib, uh, mussels uh, with cheese, and some basa. All right, let's try a little bit of the soup. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, that is really good soup. Nice and comforting and warm. Wonderful broth. If you come here, definitely try the soup. It doesn't look like much, but fantastic. So I can't wait to try the abalone first. Oh. Mm. Very flavorful. 
abalone is a bit of an acquired taste. It's a little bit chewy and um, flavor is very good. I think that's what they use it for. Lots of braising and lots of soups. Mm. Nice surprise and very good. And I can't wait to try that lobster next. Oh, look at that. Just falls off. Mmm. Nice and succulent and sweet. Mm. Perfectly cooked. And I'm glad I drenched that in butter. Mm. Really flavorful, really nice. So, I know the prime rib is going to be delicious because it's a really fatty piece from Ray. So I'm going to finish this off and, uh, and we'll take you back for dessert. Oh, cheers. So that lobster and abalone were fantastic and so delicious. And uh, that prime rib, I knew it was going to be good and it was so luscious and fatty. So uh, I think we're going to go for dessert and I, oh, and I see May. Thank you so Thank much. You very much again. So I heard there was some noodles that I needed to try. Yes, there's a home bake crab and noodles. Oh, I can't wait to give that a try. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Uh, we have some noodles here. Can I get a uh, Szechuan uh, spicy noodle? Yeah. Thank you. So let me introduce you to my friend Peregrine, who's uh, busy slicing up all the noodles. All right, so Peregrine is doing a fantastic job there slicing away. A little bit of uh, scallions and parsley. Mix it okay? yeah, sure. Wonderful Szechuan soup with a bit of beef. And so it's not too spicy, a little bit of chicken soup. Okay, enjoy me. All right, thank you. Uh, All right, thank you. All right, so a little bit of detour, uh, but let me show you what we detoured for. Amazing bowl of nice noodles from Peregrine and uh, his assistant there. Let's give this a try. Mm. Very good noodle. A really nice texture. They're a little thicker in the middle and they're very slippery and uh, easy and fun to eat. Mm. All right, so what a worthwhile detour from the desserts and the noodles are done. So now let's be on our way. Let's check out the desserts. All right, never get tired of walking up to the dessert section of a buffet. Okay, so we've got some nice uh, carrot cake. Always make a joke. Thing. It's nice to have some veggies in cake form. It's getting old though. Oh, a new one. Oh, thank you. Some uh, tiramisu, uh, nice caffeine. Oh, a mango mousse cake. Some cream cones, a little bit of cream and crunch. Rocky Road fudge and a wonderful green tea mousse cake. Let's go for one of those. It's always hard to get the first piece. There we go. And then we've got some coconut jelly. Uh, oh, some uh, nice fruit tarts. A uh, little bit of cheesecake. And again, uh, back to Victoria and Vancouver, the Nanaimo bars. Oh, look at this. A brown sugar creme caramel. Let's cut into that. Cut so easily. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Plates filling up. Some nice rice pudding, uh, some mango pudding. Uh, next area we have some waffles, the cream, and I gotta try a creme brulee. And it's uh, certainly been uh, brulee lots. All right, ooh, a wonderful almond cookie. Oh, these are what we call grease balls, but they're sesame uh, balls deep fried. And oh, look at these sugar puffs. <laughs> and then a nice uh, cookie. And then, oh, these are crispy honey twists. And uh, I think we need to get one of those for nice crunchy goodness. And let's get one right over there. And I think that would top off the green tea mousse cake nicely. Maybe not. All right, so a pretty respectful dessert section, and I think there's more. We'll definitely need to try the uh, tofu custard. And then uh, I think there's some ice cream here. 
some chocolate, mango, vanilla, green tea. And uh, oh, it looks very good. All right, so still going strong. Uh, luckily, I didn't have too much in the uh, mains, but uh, let me show you all the fantastic desserts we have here. We've got that tofu pudding and then all that good stuff we saw, the mousse cakes and the honey crisps and uh, the creme brulee looks very good. And I can't wait to dig into that tofu pudding. Oh, so soft and all the layers. Can't wait to try the ginger syrup. Mmm. Mmm. Very comforting dessert. Very light and, and it slurps so easily. A little bit of ginger and very good. A very nice way to end a heavy meal. And I definitely have to try that creme caramel. I remember uh, scooping it up. It was so light and luscious and it still is. Mm. Very nice, fantastic custard. Really rich and creamy and uh, a lot of nice depth from that wonderful caramel. Mm. So I'm going to continue enjoying the desserts here. So this is the Dragon Pearl Buffet and uh, to be honest, I think this is one of the best seafood buffet I've had in Toronto. I haven't visited much, but this is super amazing. But this is absolutely amazing. I did not expect the lobster and the abalone as well. So really fantastic folks here with me and uh, Peregrine, especially with the with those noodles. So thank you so much for joining. And if you're in Toronto, uh, definitely give this a try. A little bit out of the way, but so convenient with the subway and the buses. Uh, definitely well worth it. So until we see each other again, uh, wishing you all the best. Uh, hoping you eat well, stay safe, uh, take care of each other, and all the best to you. Cheers. Mm. Very nice.